सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ फास्ट एपी आई ओके सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल फास्ट ए पी आई एंड हाउ टू रन द वेरी फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम दैट इज हेलो वर्ल्ड ओके आफ्टर द द फर्स्ट हेलो वर्ल्ड प्रोग्राम इज क्रिएटेड और फर्स्ट एप इज क्रिएटेड आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोजेक्ट सो हाउ टू डिफाइन द फोल्डर स्ट्रक्चर और द प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर सो हाउ इट शुड बी सो बेस्ट ऑन योर नीड यू हैव टू यू नो क्रिएट अ डिफरेंट फोल्डर स्ट्रक्चर और द स्टैंडर्ड फोल्डर स्ट्रक्चर गिवेन बाई द फास्ट ए पी आई और द पीपल आर इंडस्ट्री और मे बी एज ए डेवलपर दे आर यूजिंग सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इन दिस ब्लॉग ओके ऑल्सो यू कैन फॉलो दिस ब्लॉग आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवेन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके सो वाई द फोल्डर स्ट्रक्चर आर नीडेड ओके सो यू कैन फॉलो द बेसिक Uh, philosophy here creating the well structured folder structure for your fast api app can contribute to code readability maintainability and scalability scalability right so these three things are important for any project okay so based on like suppose you are assigning your project to another developer maybe multiple many dev team are working on this one okay so how we can handle the different parts so readability as well so and readability means how to understand the project like we are the you know which code as belongs to like versions code or you know core features api endpoints database code all the things just like you know mbc concept maintainability okay okay so if you are uh, if you want to continuously maintain you know your um, projects to maybe you know if you want to upgrade like versioning so that is also needed you know scalability like if you want to create more and more feature in your applications so these are the important things for any folder structure for any app this was a very important okay so that's why folder structure or project structure is very important even you are creating your development application or for even for productions so in this tutorial in this in today video i'm going to explain two folder structure one for very small projects suppose you are creating some small project so you can follow this folder structure so this is your app name my fast api so you can give any name so this will be root folder inside the root folder you can see the top hierarchy is this one and inside this one okay and yeah this one so this is one folder okay and then in, in root folder fast api app this is a root folder inside that root folder there is one sub folder that is called app and two files requirement.txt file and main.py so the main.py so this is main entry point of any applications okay so this one is top level also you can see main here so that is this main is related to this one inside this app okay so but if your app is going to run we have to call this main okay so based on this main your project will running okay and the comment file we have to mention all dependency here okay and now inside this app you can create different file as well so file folder you can create anywhere okay so this one is in it okay so all the important point of folder are structure you can add mention there you know main file main this applications file so here this in this applications in this main.py all the code or for uh, all the file or folder related to you know Ablevers in this app folder, okay, should be connected with this one, okay, and also you can create more inside this app. You can create more folders, sub folder, you know, main file like that. So you can you can maintain like that, okay. So also endpoint, okay, handling fast API routes. So this way you can handle your you know your project or your folder structure or how you you can organize your code. For more details, you can follow this descriptions. this is root directory for your project app this directory contain your fast api applications code okay this file in it dot py this file make the app directory in python packages okay main by this file is contain the main fast api applications you can define your fast api app instances configure it and include additional settings okay api directory you know organize your api related code this file make api directory in your okay so in point also okay fine so this in point contain your fast api you know route handler this make in point this file makes the in point directory a python packages and examples the examples dot route handle multiple file in this directory of different part of your application okay so here we can mention the task like what are the task you want to perform 
So you can see the example fast API route handler. You can have multiple file in this directory of different part of your applications. Okay. So these were the things, and yeah. So this all this is the things how to maintain. You know, keep in the mind keep in the mind that this is the starting point. Okay. So how this are uh, structured? Also, you can you know create more like models, schema, utilities, database. Models. These are different. Uh, you can add more and more direct. Okay. So this is a more for complex level projects. So how to maintain this fast API scalable application? So you can see this one is for even enterprises level or productions level. So this is to top levels. This app is a folder. You can see, and this is dot environment Docker file requirement. Okay. Docker compose main file. You can also write it here. Also, you can see in this app there is many folders, subfolders, of filer. Okay, so app levels you can see this one is one core, second folder, dependency, models, test, utility, utils. Okay, and then inside there is main. Okay, inside also you can see inside app there is one called API. Okay, inside also you can see in API level there is versioning as well v1, v2. You know. You can see maintain here version one. Okay, so what are the different version of API? You can create handle like that. Also, the core feature you can mention here. Okay, so like configuration, security, database, dependency. If you are going to some authentications and some different OTPs like that, models. Okay, so how to handle all databases? Okay, test test models. You can write all the testing code here. Okay, and util for others important helper functions. You can define it here. All description that also mentioned here. If you follow this one, you will get the idea. I will share this link in video. Okay, so this structure is just a suggestion, and you can adapt based on your specific requirement, requirement or preference. Okay, the key is to maintain clarity and organizations as you fast API applications go grows. Okay, so. This was the very simple folder structure. You can follow this way. There is many folder structure as well, but I think this one is the most of the you know GitHub library I visited. Okay, GitHub repository I visited. So they are created also, and also this folder structure is also given by Fast API. Okay, you can also follow the Fast API you know documentations. You can also follow. Let me show you. Okay, so this one. Go here, and then. Start learning from here, or if there is documentation or not, so you can start learning from here. Okay, so intro part, so you can see more details here, or maybe let me okay, so reference code API, fine, so these were things resources. Okay, so I think this is fine for a start learning from here. Okay, so so this is a first tutorial. So start from here. I think this was also you can get for more understanding with this one. But I think this uh, if a Python developer you don't have to focus on this one, so you will get idea. But I think I just recommend just to start from here. Then every if you understand this one, then you can follow this one. What is concurrency and asynchronous and wait? Okay. So, because once you understand this one, so this is very easy. Also, if you are other, you know, uh, if you know the concept of this async wait, you know, or some Python Python concept, or if you want to check what is the extra in Fast API, so also you can follow this one. But just for a starting to learn uh, Fast API, so this is you can follow as a documentation inside tutorial. Okay, so first step you can see, you know, installing this one. Okay, similarly you can go to the next. Okay. Go to path parameter, right? So you can see how to define the path parameter. So this way we can define. Okay. So for more, you can check it, check it this documentation website as well. Okay. Also, I'm not sure which this mentions or folder structure or not, but it's given the folder structure as well. So they are following some different folder structure, but I this one is just for you know based on developers or some. Uh, Others repository people PPL created, so I just collected all the things, okay, and uh, I'm going to explain to you, okay. 
so that's all everyone for this one so if we this if this video was helpful so please do like and subscribe and also if there is something more thing you have missed or i have missed so you can comment down below i will try to cover that with that as well in coming video okay so thank you so much for watching let's meet in another one